Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and they've got cool announcement, sort of. Uh, I've also had the most frustrating afternoon I've had in a very long time, and I'll explain both things right now. Now, first off, the, first, the cool news is uh, Unity have released this new material pack. It's a gigantic collection of pre-made materials inside of Shader Graph for mostly automotive style usage. So there's 300 plus materials in this collection of things like uh, car paint, carbon fiber, um, leather, cloth, that kind of stuff. Very useful. Again, very much orientated towards automobiles and transportation in general. But it's one of those things that you could just use like on almost every level. And what I try to do when I show you these videos is I want to go through and show you the, the asset in action. And I can't. I've spent four plus hours on this. I have installed five different versions of Unity. I have tried this on three different computers. It does not work for me. So the biggest question I have is, can any of you get this to work? Because I am at wit's friggin' end with Unity right now. But again, let's go back to the announcement. So we've got over on the Unity blog, uh, they've announced that they've got this new measured materials library. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Mission Material Library provided customers access to a free set of materials, including several kinds of leather and fabric, opaque and transparent plastic, car paint, chrome, glass, bare metal surfaces with different characteristics, and more. It's 300 materials, like I said, and you've got all kinds of different categories. So you've got uh, fabrics such as herringbone, twill, brushed, and plain weave. We've got leathers, including grain pattern and multiple perforation styles. We've got suede. We've got multiple wood species, multiple chrome finishes, multiple metal finishes, glass, opaque plastic with multiple grain patterns, transparent plastic, car paint, and here you can see some of the examples. And notice the examples in this screenshot, because that's as close as I can come to showing you them. Once again, cannot get this damn thing to work. So you see here, uh, shader graph integration. One of the things that is pretty key to note here is you need to be using Unity 2018.3 or later uh, to get that shader graph support. And what you should be able to do is open it up in the shader graph and see the end result. So you see the material, this is what you're ultimately creating. This is what you should be able to do. Anyways, so um, it is available on the um, the store. There's 300 plus assets. You see, head on over to the store. You can see it right here. Uh, it requires HD render pipeline 4.9.0 or later. The lightweight render pipeline supported version is going to be coming at some point down the road. Another thing to keep in mind is this thing is really big. There's 655 files in there. It's 1.5 gigabytes in size. And when you import that, if you do not have... Um, compressed textures on import disabled, it is going to take a very, very long time to load. But once you've got them, in theory, this is the part of the, the demonstration where I would show you one of those textures in action. And you will see I have a collection of errors over here and the errors are always different. A different combination, no matter what I do, no matter what versions of different things I put together, which version of shader graph, which version of HD render pipeline, or the um, standard render pipeline, or anything else, it breaks. It breaks in magical and different ways, but the key thing is, ultimately, it never, ever, ever works. So if you do get this thing to work, please let me know how. Because <laughs> right now, what I'm doing to try and create it is I downloaded all the assets, I go into the Unity Hub, I say I want to create a new project, I want to create the project using the HD pi uh, pipeline, I want to add my asset pack, and I want to add the measured materials library. This should be it. It is not it. I've also tried it with just creating a um, 3D package. So I've tried different versions, as you can see here on this computer and on other computers. I've gone ahead and created a 3D one, uh, basically started a new project, created and imported to the standard pipeline, set all that stuff up, did not work. Does not, no matter what I try to do, it does not work. So back to what we actually got. So once it's imported, here is your pipeline. You should have the HD render pipeline, uh, standard materials library or stacklet library here. The cool thing is here are your textures. So these are the textures that the materials are going to use. The cool thing is even if you can't get it to work, this is a huge collection of tileable uh, materials that are used as part of texture maps. So you see here is, for example, I think a leather texture. Um, so that alone is quite valuable, but the, the part that's supposed to be really important here is the actual materials. So you see it broken down in different categories, so leather, car paint, and so on. So I'm gonna go here into leather and everything's broken. So I, I would love to show you this, but again, when I bring it up in shader graph, no matter which version of it I run, why are you not? Oh, here we go, we're finally there. I've even had this thing telling me that I'm out of memory constantly. Oh, oh, wait. Are you actually working? Okay, 
I'd love that one. Why is this one actually kind of working now? And it's not working here. So you, this is kind of what I've been going through. We're actually getting an honest to goodness preview on this one. So if I go in here and I edit the shader, is it actually gonna show me the finished shader for once? Dun, dun, dun. See, I, I, I'm, again, you might be able to tell by my voice, I am at wit's end. And to be honest, this is not new. I try in all of my videos to you guys to showcase the product in action. So if there's a new plugin or something or a new feature in Unity, oh, it's working. Why are you working here and only here, but not in preview? And let me just pick a different one then. It's working. Okay, so that one works. Let me just go back, pick car paint, pick this guy. It's not working. Is it gonna start working? Try opening that up and it's not working. And no result. So I, I, I honestly, I can't tell you what the heck is going on here, but what I am noticing more and more and more since we've moved to this whole, um, let's split uh, Unity up into packages and make things work that way, it, it just, it doesn't work. Like when I'm finding here in the pa package manager, it's for me to try and get things to work. It involves a lot of, okay, I'm gonna upgrade this one. I'm gonna upgrade this version. So if you have a dependency, for example, between um, the shader graph here, which is seemingly not installed now. So I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and install that. Let's see what that one does. Who knows? I've changed these so many times. So you have the HD pipeline, you have different versions of shader graph, you have different versions of the pipeline behind it. You've got all of these different uh, interdependencies and get rid of that. Like, like make the pipeline one piece. Like, okay, so here we go. I just installed something new. Let me pick one of these car paints. No, not working. Let me go to a different material. Let's go to say one of the fabrics. See, obviously these are all not working. And then we come here and let me open. Okay, see what this does. I don't, I don't even know why it's not loading. I don't know if this is eventually going to load. And then when it does, and when it does load, it actually works. So this is my source of frustration. I have no idea what the heck is going on, but what I'm finding is more and more and more often when I'm making these videos for you guys, I am jumping through so many hoops just to make Unity work. And I don't know if it's their new, like splitting things into so many different packages or interdependencies or what, or it may just be that the three computers that I'm running on are all cursed. I, I don't know anymore. I, I'm just so frustrated at this point in time. But anyways, you do get an idea. If you can actually get it to work, consistently, this is what you're getting. You're getting a gigantic collection of materials with shader graphs that on occasion, kind of, sort of, maybe, partially, possibly work. <sighs> Anyways, if any of you happen to have an idea of what the heck is going on here, I would love to know it. I would love to know why the shaders kind of show up. Like here, here, it's obviously working now. So there we can see the actual action. I can switch this out to a different preview. We can see the end result. Uh, I would I would love to know what the heck is going on, but I, I don't I I don't have any more patience, so I'm done with it. But I really hope that whatever this is, that the fragility, and I think that's it. There's just so much fragility in the HD render pipeline that just trying to get it to even work these days is just so frustrating. And I think you can I think nicely. I'm, I'm glad it actually kind of started working during this video, so you can see why this is so frustrating for me. And then again, sometimes the answer they say when you install a new package, if it doesn't work is close Unity and restart it. Maybe do that twice. That is ludicrous. That means that your setup is too fragile. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean this to get as ranty as it is, but this is very, very frustrating. This, this is cool. This is a great new resource for people, 300 plus really well-defined um, materials in a very useful selection of things. I hope you guys find them useful and I hope you guys can actually use them. So the biggest thing I would love to know in the comments down below, are any of you guys also encountering these problems when you're working with the HD render pipeline? And do you have any suggestion here? Because I have literally tried everything. I've tried different versions. I've tried creating the projects in different ways. And I don't know, it could literally just be that this project itself is broken. And it's it's just my experience with it. They're using maybe something in-house and maybe it doesn't work for anyone. So one of you guys, please try this thing out. Tell me if it works for you or if I'm actually just going crazy on my head. All right, well, hopefully that was useful. I don't know if that's the right word, but hopefully that was at least entertaining. Uh, and uh, talk to you all later. Goodbye.